G'day folks, Rich Burdess, Datacom Christchurch, New Zealand, with a quick guide on how you can validate a pen input control in your Power App. The problem with pen input controls is as soon as they load on your canvas, you're going to get the image, the dot image. Um, this is the pen input dot image, this is pen input one, and this is the pen input dot one image, and it, as soon as it loads on the screen, it's already got an image. So it's kind of a placeholder image that's created in blob storage to capture. Um, your content. So if you were trying to put this button to this button here will validate if there's an active um, if there's actually something in the pen input control right. So I've got a little reset button on here to clear this if um, we want to do some more demos right. So the idea is to create an a variable that will trigger on select of the pen input. There's not very many um, controls you can access um, functions you can access in the pen input control but you can use on select and so what I've done here is a very simple um, set a variable called var image to be the pen input one dot image and unlike the dot image control um, this one won't load straight away so let's just play this um, and you can see how this button will change and what I'll do is I'll reset the button a few times and you'll see how the pen input dot image blob storage will change its value as you go through the app so first load then second load of a form or whatever as you're repeating stuff will update and you'll be able to keep validating it so let's just show you this alright so if I draw something you can see that we've got a match there now so my buttons become available but if I reset my button then Whilst my variable still stays the same as dot eleven or slash eleven in my blob manager, because I've reset the field control, say when you submit a form or something, it picks up the latest or the next ID available in your blob storage, and so that will automatically clear um, the validation that I've got here for this button. Right. So if I draw another picture, another little happy face, you can see that's back, and then we've updated. So we've actually taken. 16 is the new item and then 16 is the new variable so this is kind of a way you could validate a pen input control with other fields um, I'll quickly show you um, how I'm doing the button um, and it's basically display mode um, so basically if the pen input dot one dot image which is this value or it's the same value that comes in here but I'm showing it this text here if this image equals my variable for my image which I'm displaying here then make the button editable else disable it so hope that's helped um, validate pen input control it's just a quick simple guide um, but yeah useful hopefully cheers